Yo, what up, what up, it's the Kid CJ City, so we back with a brand new video. So, it's here, it's judgment time, all right? You know, I just recently released my fragrances, and what I did is I sent them out to a couple of influencers, some peers of mine, some people that I respect their nose, I respect their opinion, and I really wanted to just kind of get their initial thoughts on my fragrances, okay? And the first person I just had to reach out to was Steven from Red Lessons, man. You know, just for the sole fact that he was basically like, you know, the head honcho, man. You know, he was basically like the person who kind of spearheaded this whole movement with Navitus Parfums. And if it wasn't for him, you know, I wouldn't have had this opportunity to actually create my own fragrance. And uh, so I definitely had to reach out to him because I really respect his nose, I respect his opinion, and I wanted to know what he had to say. But also, let's just get right to it, okay? When Navitus first rolled out, I was one of the first people to actually review the line, right? And, you know, I said some things, you know, there's a couple of fragrances on there that I just didn't like, man. So, Steven, he probably saw that. He's like, huh? Oh, what you say? Oh, okay. You know, so, you know, I'm not the type of person who could say some certain things and I get offended if people say it back. Nah, I'm not like that. So, I wanted to give Steven the platform to express his opinions, man. You know, I said some things. Y'all didn't really like the fragrance that you came out with. I do like this fragrance though. I don't like this one. I don't like this note. So I wanted to extend it back to Steven and I wanted him to get his get back, man. He might be like, yeah, remember that you was talking about me? It's your turn. Now I'm going to say, you know, my honest opinion about your fragrances. And that's exactly what I wanted. Even though I don't really foresee Steven doing that, man. You know, he's too classy of a gentleman. He might speak in code, okay? You know, so we got to watch out for those triggers when Steven's talking. He might be like, yeah, the fragrance is all right. You know, that means, yo, city, I ain't feeling your fragrance, man. He might be like, you know, it's good for other people. They might wear it. I might not wear it on this occasion. Translation, yo, city, that's trash, man. So we got to listen for the cues, all right? I got his video queued up. We're going to actually listen to Steven's, you know, response to my fragrance here live. And uh, yeah, man, I just want to play this for you guys. And I just want to kind of, you know, listen with you and just kind of react and uh, see what Steven's thoughts about my fragrances are. So let's just go ahead and dive right into it, man. Salute to Steven for actually doing this. So let's go ahead and get into it. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Steven and I have a channel called Redolescence and I just want to start this video off by saying that CJ sent me a couple of fragrances from his collaboration with Navitus Parfum. I am really excited to try these fragrances, give you my first impressions, That's and I also want to start off... I know, I know, I know. I gotta stop that. That's kind of crazy. It just hits a little different when you're actually like the creator of something, you roll it out, and people are telling you that they're excited, you know, about your release, man. Usually people are like excited about the new Creed or, you know, the new Spice Bomb or something like that. Like people are really excited about my release. That just hits different, man. So that's, that's just- I'm saying, CJ, I am really proud of you. I know how difficult it can be creatively directing a collection of fragrances that's and it takes a true. lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of expenditure and so I admire the hard work and I admire the dedication and so I'm really excited to try these fragrances. I just saw the names today for the first time. You were the sole creative director. You did such an awesome job in terms of the naming. Now we have to get into the scents. Appreciate and so that. I'm excited to try these fragrances. Just the initial vibe that I'm getting is that one of them is gonna be a little bit more casual or maybe for the daytime. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is probably gonna be a little bit more luxurious and opulent for the nighttime. And so That's I've watched- because because um, I'm glad that I was able to to convey that with words because you know you guys obviously haven't smelled the fragrance yet but yes that's basically what i wanted champagne royale was going to be that nice daytime type of fragrance and then creme imperial was going to be for your night out the evening type of fragrance when you're with some females and things of that nature so i'm glad he was able to pick up on all it. of your videos leading up to this moment where i give my first impressions on camera so i'm kind of hoping that i'm right there uh but let's go ahead and start things off with the first one which is champagne royale now just the name alone kind of gives me this party vibe or party atmosphere I haven't smelled it yet so I'm not sure how it's going to smell I expect it to fact, have that's an interesting you know question for you guys like just the name what does that convey to you guys he said it's like a party type of you know uh, vibe that he's getting just off of the name you know what are you guys getting if you just hear a fragrance that's named champagne royale what do you expect that you're getting into that's pretty interesting maybe some aldehydes in here maybe be a little fizzy up on top uh, maybe be a little citrusy as well we know that kind of contributes to that fizzy effervescent vibes that people often get from fragrances okay came out on the second spray oh man okay 
<laughs> this one is nice. Oh, okay. So we're dealing with something that opens up really bright and really fresh, sparkling, uh, really citrusy. I'm guessing, I'm guessing there's probably bergamot in here. There's also something else. I don't know if it's like grapefruit or neroli or pettit grain or something like that, but you can tell mm. there's like, um, like this bright, unique citrus quality to it. So I'm really eager to find out what's in this one, but it opens up yeah. very bright, very citrusy. I think what he, what he, yeah, it's just a first impression, but I think what he is kind of smelling is obviously that freshness, but that uniqueness, I think he's picking up on that champagne accord, man, so that's pretty dope. I stand corrected. I don't get a lot of the aldehydes as I expected to uh, in terms of that champagne accord, but I am getting like this really bright, uh, high quality citrus from it. And right away, it's reminding me of like a summertime vibe. And so in terms of yeah. the notes, because let's just complete that first. I'm getting that citrus quality, but then I'm also getting something a little fruity. I don't know what it is, if it's a green apple or there's just something fruity in there to kind of complement the citrus. And the more I smell it, the more I'm able to pick up on something sweet in the base. There's like this dark, sort of a sweet quality. It's not overwhelming and it doesn't take away from the citrus. <laughs> You gotta respect Steven's nose, man. So basically the fruitiness that you're picking up on is gonna come from plum. That's interesting, you know, maybe, you know, cause he doesn't know the notes or whatever, if he's just not picking up on much plum or if it's just not hitting them right away. So that is interesting if the plum is just kind of coming off as like this fruity note. But to me, yeah, that's what the plum is, you know? And then he says like, there's like this sweetness in the base. You got to respect Steven's nose for picking that out, man, because, you know, basically what that is, it's going to be due to the fur balsam in here, okay? And that's not something that most people talk about or most people even know about, but basically that's giving like this nice, rich, you know, jammy, fruity sweetness, man. So the fact that he's able to even pick that up, that's, that's dope, man. Shout out but to perhaps Steve. a little bit of um, tonka bean or vanilla or just something along those lines. Wow, it just smells very clean, very polished, very elegant, very well groomed, very fresh, <laughs> professional. It's an office type yeah, of a, a fragrance fact. as well. So let's get into scenarios. So in terms of scenarios, really when you wanna smell your best, this is the type of fragrance you wanna put on. Just because it gives off this well groomed vibe, I can see this working really well in an office setting. It just comes across smelling very clean, very fresh, very professional. I can also see this doing really well in like um, a daytime party scene or party scenario. I know my yeah, wife and I, we actually like love to cruise. And so if you're cruising or you're on a yacht, it's a type of fragrance that exactly, I can imagine somebody uh, exactly. wearing when it's like nice and warm outside, but you also wanna feel refreshed, like that champagne vibe that you're talking about. And the more you think about it, it kind of has like a little bit of sweetness that you get from like some varieties of champagne. Oh, this is that's, awesome. Yes, that's what I'm, yes, that's what I wanted to go for, man. We, we, it, I didn't want this to have like a brute dry champagne, all right? And that's not for me, okay? I know there's a lot of men, they want to flex their muscles, they want to show their chest hair. Yo, we drinking brute champagne or we drinking, you know, some, some Jim Bean or something like that. Nah, man, give me some Grand Marier, man. Give me something with some flavor, all right? So that's basically what I was trying to do with this champagne. It's not like a dry brute champagne or nothing like that. So that's, that's dope that he was able to pick that up. So... What I would wear it, it, when I'm you know, deciding to wear this fragrance is I could probably see myself wearing something really um, semi-casual and so maybe like a polo shirt or maybe like a white button-down mm -hmm. shirt where it's not super casual Clean but casual, you want to yeah. add this element of style to the wardrobe. But this one is on yeah. the casual side so far but it's awesome. You can definitely dress this up as well. So okay. it's actually a really so versatile fragrance. So far. so far, it's not reminding me of any other fragrances that I can kind of compare it to as a frame of reference. Uh, there's a whole lot of citrus fragrances in the designer and niche side of things. And so this is like the best of everything. You know, there's like a touch of sweetness. There's like this elegant quality in the base. It's a little masculine as well, but the citrus is really where it's at for this fragrance. And so let me go ahead and move on to my impressions of the second one. Okay, and so this one is called Creme Royale. Imperial. Okay. So 
Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, that's a good one. Okay. Oh, man. What you got, Steven? <laughs> I know that note. Uh-oh. So, again, as the name implies, very creamy. So you just went from drinking champagne to drinking like a Bailey's. Does that make sense? Or like mm. a Kahlua or some Irish cream or something like that. Okay. Wow. Ooh, <laughs> it's a little spicy as well. You know what's crazy? Oh man, I'm gonna share this with you guys. I said this before, but when I was creating this fragrance, I actually wanted to add like a nice boozy element to this fragrance and I wanted to call it creme liqueur, man. So imagine, he's already getting like he said, like a Bailey's uh, Irish cream type of vibe. Imagine if I would've hit you with the boozy nature. Oh man, you making me kind of Wish I would have went that route, man. This don't even have no booze in it. And he's already saying he's getting like a nice, you know, Bailey's Irish cream type of vibe. That's dope. To me, I'm getting creme brulee, but okay, I can see I want to say I kind of get like an amaretto vibe. So it kind of reminds me of like a Di Sorono. Again, there's like this partying man, theme in here. But in this there? is more for like the club. So the first one is for like a mm. daytime party environment. This is more for the club. Oh, it's kind of sweet, but it's sensual at the same time. So this one is also kind of romantic. Yes, I agree with that. Definitely, man. Like I said, you, you're going to wear this as a man around some females, okay? This is about the man who's, who, who's confident in himself. He wants to pull them females or he wants to impress the females or even like he said, just in a romantic situation. So yes, I'm glad you were able to pick that so up. So I can see somebody really enjoying this one on a date or a night out with your significant other when you're dressed to impress, when you really want to set the mood right, you want to set a positive tone for the evening. There's kind of like this like a tonka bean vibe also just like in the original but it's that much more enhanced and amplified it's really brought to the fore and you get like that creamy gourmandy goodness but there's still like this fresh element about it and so it's not a total gourmand oh man this is really nice cj so you <laughs> knocked both of these out of the park let me yeah, so you are still getting the, the citrus very bright and fresh and vibrant from this one. Oh, man. Wow. These are really going to be awesome. I know they're going to do really, really well. Oh, man. Just that sweet, creamy, gourmand, tonka bean, vanilla vibe with like that unconventional spiciness. It kind of like gives me like Bailey's vibes or amaretto vibes or something like that. I don't know if it's like a, <laughs> like an Irish cream or whatever, but it has like this character and personality about it that kind of offsets it from the fresher, cleaner demeanor of the original. This one is a little more suave and sophisticated. So mm -hmm. in terms of this one scenarios, I would say like a date night, romantic setting, how I would dress this one up. You can see this uh, being worn by somebody who is, you know, suit and tie or tuxedo or like a bow tie. Just somebody giving off a very formal, classy, elegant vibe. If you really want to dress to impress, romantic scenario, I think that's really where it's at with both of these fragrances. So, CJ, I just want to conclude this video. I hope I didn't ramble on for too long, <laughs> but, you know, when I get passionate about fragrances, I can't help it sometimes. But you really knock both of these out of the park. I'm very proud of you. I'm very excited for this collaboration. I know it's going to do well and I can't wait to have my bottles because I'm telling you right now, both of yeah, these are gonna get a lot of wear and a lot of play for me for the summer. So thanks again for getting my opinions on camera. I appreciate you. Good luck with everything. If you ever need anything, I'm here for you. Don't hesitate to reach out. Congratulations again. Man, my guy, Steven. Of course, man, he classy. He took the high road, man. I appreciate that, bro. So. Yeah, man. So that's Steven Redolescent's opinion on my fragrance. That's an interesting take. He said he's kind of getting like a little gourmandish type of feel from Creme Imperial. So that's interesting. And, you know, as much as I respect Steven, you know, I feel like, you know, this is just one man's opinion. So I'm super excited for you guys to try these fragrances as well. We still have the sale going on right now. So you guys can head over to NavitusParfums.com. Actually, I will leave the link in the description. All you guys have to do is click both of those links 
add the fragrance to your cart and you'll get a 50% off deal okay basically it's buy one get one free you know so if you want to you know experience champagne royale if you want to experience creme imperial for yourself add them both to your cart you can buy one get one free man and you guys could test these things out and you guys can actually come back and give me your opinion i'm still doing my giveaway so if you do happen to order these bottles make sure you leave your hashtag ordered so i can enter you into a giveaway and the winner of that giveaway is going to receive any bottle on their wish list if there's a fragrance you've always wanted i'm going to purchase that for you if you're the winner you show love to me i show love to you so that's basically what's going on once again salute to my man steven for actually giving me his opinion i definitely appreciate that salute to everybody out there but you guys already know what it is i'm cj city why do i still have these headphones on <laughs> you guys already know what it is man i'm cj city i'm signing out i appreciate all the love peace